If you were to put a, a, a ring on like this, it's a lot harder than putting it on like that because it just slides on and off. Um, like, slides on and off uh, where this one needs force to go up and down on. Um, and so by putting it on like this, the idea was that it would go be a lot and easier angle. than if we had to put it on also, directly. A lot of other robots that we've seen so far this season have a tipping point style intake that then drop it on like this, but then they have to wait for the next ring to like down. Yeah. Also, another thing is but, you can only control two rings at a time. So if you have two in your conveyor belt, you can't really do anything. So this, as soon as you get a ring, it's pretty much yeah. scored. Robot in three days. We started Friday 7.15, we ended like 30 <laughs> minutes ago. We're just setting stuff up, like the field set up, we can figure that out, we're done. So we got the field and we got the bot, okay? This is 1089. Oh, the goat. First <laughs> of all time to build this robot, yeah. Yep. Also nine. Also oh. nine. Yeah, because we need the branding, you know, 1089, yeah. you know how it is. 1089. Neil over here got the drivetrain. You already know. Um, speaking of the drivetrain. All right. Okay, so, so basically in the drivetrain, there's like a really tiny rubber band stuck in between the gears and we cannot move them. Therefore, but oh well. we cannot get it's it okay. out. So other than it being completely jammed, we right, go. go. So drivetrain's on blues. It's 450 RPM and we got three and a quarter inch omnis. Four motors so that we can oh, yeah. have enough other motors yeah. to mess around with And we got also wait, Christmas. I, I, I also want to mention that um, in the program, when you click A, it switches the direction of the forward and backward. So you can start by um, having the claw to grab a mobile goal, press A, and then have the intake as the front. Yeah. So you just swap yeah, so front that. and back It's just really good for like matches. You don't have to It's, it's a lot easier to drive. Yeah, if yeah. it drove. So Millen did all yeah. that. So good job with that. That's really cool. Okay. Next up, claw, the one thing that works well. Okay, so over here, the, the idea is to pick so, up a mobile goal and here, flip right. it. Yeah, you hold the idea is oh, to- you air it. Oh, yeah, we got air. All right, here, give me some. I did pressure All right. Okay, so this flips it. Oh, okay, so we, we, we should talk about this. So in, in the claw, we have, um, so we call this the, the mouth, right? This is the upper part of the jaw with the teeth, the lower teeth, the lower jaw, and the chin. The, chin. Um, the lower jaw is locked. And these teeth are on a passive um, locking. So when this goes, when the mobile goal goes in, it goes up and it can't come back out. Super so it's, it's very good at just um, like, it, it's very good at keeping them in. Yeah, so like for Autons, if we just rush it, as soon as we lock into that, no one can really take it because then as literally seconds after this comes back down. So if, if our robot gets there first, we get it. Okay, um, now- then, Yeah, we're, we're also using, we're using a short piston just to keep it um, with bands. Yeah. So the starting position, the claw is down so that if we ever lose air, we can still grab onto it. And then you want to feel like that. Keep going. And then okay. we end up over there. Right over here. Uh, Drop down the engine. Let's Hold turn the bottom. The it should be going down. Why is it going down? Okay. Oh, you've put too many bands on it. Okay, my bad. Over here, we also got guides to make sure that the mobile goal is always is in the good position and it's not too far down. So this, and then this part over here. Intake. Uh, this is the last thing that we designed. So still yet to function perfectly, but how it works count. is like this. Um, in, if we had more time, we would have raised this higher. And then after that, we have this, which raises up and then we would have given this a stronger motor. Yeah. Um, but basically, it would then do that last little bit and go on if it was. The able 11 to. one, I think, is overheated as well right now. It's a yeah, five, the 5.5 yeah, yeah, watt that, that we had, it had horrible friction because so, that's just how they're made. They're really bad. Use five, lift, five. It up, lift it up. Okay. Uh, how this works is that squash down in the bottom of the robot, we have a 5.5 watt with underneath it's powering a double slipped 12 tooth plastic pinion that's our slip gear and then from there it's basically a catapult that is actuating this frame on top here and then um and then it's on bands that are mounted to these posts 
Um, if we made this an 11 watt motor down here, it would be able to do more bands and push the rings on with more force, which we think is the last thing that we were missing. Um, other than that, it's a pretty standard Kata. Yes. Yeah, At different times, we messed around with a limit switch, which we ended up going with. But before that, we were working with a, with a um, rotational sensor to try and get the code to work. Um, pretty standard. And then this is another last minute addition. Um, it's a wedge that comes up here to try and make the rings. So when it lowers down, this is something consistent so that it can help get up. And then these are guide standoffs to try and set it in the same spot. After that, it would, it'll slip. Yeah. Like so that. yeah. Um, that's the intake. It's highly scuffed. But it's um, um it's innovative. Two different ways that we could have done it uh, was use the level one down here that was mentioned. The other thing we had another idea of using that's the wrong button. Um, of, of using multiple wheels, so wheels here and like here and here I think. Um, and by using those three wheels to like maneuver the rings onto the mobile one, it would do it a lot faster. Um, but it's also more complicated for yeah. like three days. Um, Watch our um video if you want to see our sanity decline and us think yeah, of that which, idea. He's gonna like edit a bunch of videos yeah, and all of we our have crack. We, we have like it. a bunch of shorts that are gonna eventually go out. This is probably gonna come out after. Yeah. Maybe I assume it'll probably be easier. Yeah. Anyway. So, last thing we got a passive hang at the top. Um these here Oh yeah it works so well. They're free spinning so as soon as we drive up to it it yeah, will drive. catch up. Yeah, um, the weight balancing is also shown. No, no, no. You, you yes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There we here go. We so yeah, robot in three days. Also, one one more thing that you should do if you if you plan on doing a robot three days, if you have the sanity, please make sure you have the materials you need beforehand, and make sure they're not bent or destroyed <laughs> in any sort of way. Oh yeah, we rebuilt the chassis three times because of bent materials. Because the person holding the camera right now that shall not be named is um, <laughs> guilty of using stuff without reinforcing it. So I it just never, gets bent. I would never. So we just only have bent C-channel. <laughs> and I had to rebuild it three times. <laughs> Hold up, we can do the thing. <laughs> Robot in three days, 1089. Anything else? First of all time, plus nine. First of all time, also nine. Oat, the robot's name is Oat, and it is the goat. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.